I really want Chloe to take a polygraph. She refused. I have extreme anxiety, and that was a fear of mine that I would maybe fail. She has a lawyer in her family that told her not to do it. I'm open to doing one. It's more so that my attorney slash my grandfather has advised me not to. I would think that he would know what's best. This is the one thing I think that could give me closure. I don't know if I will ever take one. Well, after the tragic loss of her son, Malcolm, Stephanie says she just can't move on until she knows the truth from Malcolm's girlfriend, Chloe, the only person who was with him the night he fell. Now, Stephanie and her sister, Reba, believe that Chloe's silence is an admission of guilt and says Malcolm's death is on Chloe's hands. Y you say that you, you don't know that you'll ever take a polygraph, that you've been advised by a family lawyer to not take one. My, my grandfather, actually, uh -huh. yes. And he said, don't take a polygraph. Um, mm. Yeah, he told me that um, as far as a legal standpoint, um, even if I were to pass <coughs> and they would say, oh, she didn't kill him, if I would have messed up on one of the questions or they would have seen signs of you know, maybe, maybe lying, <coughs> that it would give the detectives rooms to investigate. Um, he also felt like, you know, it's ridiculous. I loved Malcolm. I would never, you know, I would never have done that. Mm -hmm. So. If she were to take a polygraph in fairness, mm -hmm. you've said that you would still feel like she contributed to his death because they were fighting and arguing <laughs> and she was in his face and, and, and contributed to it. So, in... Not saying... In fairness, you, you might say, well, okay, so she didn't push him over it, but she still contributed to the fact that he's not here. Right. I mean, but I can't hold that against her. You know what I mean? I say or I do. No, I, I can't hold it against like... her. We'll never be cool. I'm just gonna be honest. It'll never happen. <clears throat> it will not happen, period. But... I can't hold that against her. If she didn't touch him, I can't hold it against her. I just want to move on. I've been in my job for 15 years. I haven't been able to go to work. I just want to get this over with. Period. That's all I asked her to do. Just take the test for me. You say you love me and my family so much? Take the test and get it over with. Just let me know this one thing. You're here. My son is gone. I have to look at my son on my table every day when I come home. That's ridiculous to me. I shouldn't even be accused because, like, they know how much I loved Malcolm. Like, she used to tell me that I would never leave him. They know that. I know how much you loved him, but I know how when you get angry, how you go after him, too. That's my problem. And I've told you about putting your hands on him. So you knew what you did. So for me, if you really ever really, really cared about me, you will take the test and let me be done with it. But if you're but worried you about yourself, you no, I get it. You're worried about yourself and you don't want to be, you know, in trouble or whatever to investigate it, so I get that. Do you? But if you really cared about me, if you ever cared about me and Malcolm, y'all say what Malcolm would have wanted, Malcolm would want you to take the test so his mama could move on. Because you knew, if nothing else, my baby loved me. My baby was up for me, no matter what. So if you loved me, if you really loved my baby, you would take the test so I can move on.